next we arrive at the point wherein we need to install these tools so let's look at the installation guidelines for visual studio code and sfdx cli or rather salesforce cli so the first and foremost thing that we need to do is install visual studio code from this link right here which is code.visualstudio.com so let's go ahead and do that so i'll just open this link right here that opens up on the browser and this lets us download either the Mac version or the Windows version or the Linux version. So whichever operating system you are on, you can just click on the download button and you should be able to download the latest stable version for VS Code. So now as you can see, the VS Code Darwin Universal zip file is getting downloaded in my local machine right now. Now once this is completely downloaded, we'll, we'll unzip this particular folder and extract the VS Code zip and we'll try to install VS Code in our machines. So if I just extract my VS Code folder right here, you should see that the Visual Studio Code has been downloaded here. And I see that here on my taskbar as well. So the same is uh, applicable for people using Windows and Linux machines. So now let's do something. Let's click on the Visual Studio Code icon and let's try to launch it. So the very first time that you launch Visual Studio Code, this is the welcome screen that you're greeted with initially. Now this gives you some walkthrough options where you, you can take a look at how to get started with VS Code, learn some fundamentals and all of that. You can take a look at your recent repositories if you have already been here. Or you can just use the shortcuts to create a new file, open a particular folder or run a command. Right. So before we head on to this, let's take a look back at our keynote and see what's the next thing that we need to do. So the next thing is we need to make Visual Studio Code Salesforce ready. And to do the same, we need to install our SFDX CLI which is from this link right here. So if I click on this link, this takes me to the SFDX CLI download screen. And just like how we had options for VS Code, we have the similar options for Salesforce CLI. And this is your command line interface for all your SFDX features. So what I can do is I can just select the Mac OS feature and click on download for Mac OS. And this initiates another download, which would be for, for the Salesforce CLI. If you take a look here, the Salesforce CLI is the powerful command line interface that simplifies development and automation while working on your Salesforce org. So you can create and manage orgs, you can import and export data as well as metadata, you can create and execute tests, you can do some debugging, you can synchronize data from source orgs or scratch orgs, and you can create and install packages. So all of it can be done just by this single tool that's Salesforce CLI. Now once this is also installed, you should start seeing sfdx in your machine now to certify that what i'll do is i'll just open the command line terminal here i'm sorry the vs code terminal and i can simply type in sfdx now if you see when i type sfdx i see that the that there's an update available for sfdx cli from this particular version to this version right here and since this loads up my sfdx commands which means sfdx has been successfully installed if you see that the SFDX version is 7.114 for Darwin X64 with this node version, right? And if I were to check what version am I currently running on, I can just simply check SFDX space hyphen hyphen version. So this would give me my current version, this right here. And it also gives me a warning prompt that says that you can update your SFDX. So ideally, if you install the SFDX CLI for the very first time, you'll have the latest update with you. But if any time you have uh, older version you can simply type in the command sfdx space update to update your current sfdx cli and if you see the same command is running now and it's installing the latest salesforce cli this right here now while this happens let me take you back to the keynote and let's see what's the next step so once salesforce cli is installed in your machine you can confirm the installation using the command prompt always ensure you are on the latest version of SFDX. So this ensures that you don't run out of any uh, any SFDX related issues or CLI related issues on VS Code. Sometimes that happens. The next and final step that we need to procure or we need to do is we need to install an extension on our VS Code and that's called the Salesforce extension pack. Now once this extension is installed, we need to relaunch our Visual Studio Code and you are all set to start development. So let's take a look at the extensions folder. So if you see right here, I'll just brief you about the VS Code overview here. So what we have opened right here is the terminal. We have other tabs that's called problems, output, or the debug console. We are currently on the terminal, and you can use this plus icon to create multiple terminals that can run parallelly, right? This section is your main screen right here, wherein you see the welcome icon, welcome page. You can open files here, and you can run write your code right here. So we can get rid of this section right here. 
Now on the extreme left hand side we have the explorer that lets you open a particular folder. We have the search option that lets you globally search. We have the option that's source control if you have your VS code connected with git or any other um, source control tool maybe a short devops or something else you can open or you know sync your repositories here the fourth option is for running and debugging this is solely for debug logs the fifth option right here is the extensions and if you see there are a lot of extensions available and i have some of them downloaded as well so as per the fourth step what we need to do is we need to simply type in salesforce extension pack and install this particular extension and if you see this is already installed in my machine and what does this include this includes all these extensions apex apex display debugger lightning aura components cli integration and so on and so forth for socle lightning web components so all of these features come in as a single package through the salesforce extension pack right once you install this you can just relaunch your vs code and your salesforce extension pack will be ready along with your vs code and you can immediately start developing on salesforce right so the first thing you could check once your salesforce extension pack has been installed is you can use command shift p or you can use control shift p on a windows machine and simply type sfdx and you should start seeing some commands coming up there so if you see i have something that's called sfdx create project with manifest sfdx create project so as soon as you start seeing sfdx commands coming up here for you which means your setup is completely ready and you're ready to work with salesforce using visual studio code right okay